Hello everyone and welcome to another video from Carl's Tech Shed. Well what I've got for you today is a very poor quality USB mains charger. Um, I was using this over the weekend and I noticed that it started to get quite hot um, to, towards, the top of the, of, towards the top of the charger. Um, so I decided to stop using it and when I opened it up I was quite shocked at the poor build quality of the inside of it. Um, the first thing which um, sort of surprised me was the fact that none of the um, none of the mains contacts were actually soldered in place, but they were rather held in place with the uh, pressure provided by the outer casing. As you can see, this is meant to be used in different countries, so you've got these two prongs which can be rotated. Um, but just under here, instead of having them actually soldered in or um, connected via cable, they're actually just held in... Um, they're actually just pressed against the board with the uh, pressure of the casing. Um, and if that isn't bad enough, the two copper contacts, which make contact with the main supply, uh, aren't held in by anything at all. Um, I actually just opened this up to have a look inside and um, before, before I did the teardown, and I couldn't actually get it back together um, because these are such, uh, such poor quality that it's impossible to put it back together in the way that it was designed. Uh, the, other, the other thing which was quite dangerous about it was that this switch here, this is a small three-way switch um, just to power on the, uh, the USB charging functionality of it um, and instead of actually being um, instead of actually being isolated it's, it's, it's very poor quality and you've got these single um, you've got these, this two, two pieces of um, cable which are uh, connected directly onto the mains um, supply but instead of being uh, insulated or protected, they're just loose um, and they're not soldered at all on the bottom uh, connector but rather just on the top and flowing through the, through the bottom connector. The other thing I noticed was that the transformer seems to be of very low quality. Uh, I'm actually going to try and take the um, plastic off of this to see what's inside it because um, this is the part which was getting very hot. Um, but also the, the distance between the um, transformer and the, capa the, the capacitors and the diodes and all of the other components, it's so close together that um, I, I, I consider it to be quite unsafe. Um, just down the bottom here, we've also got um, we've also got a small um, inline resistor for the main supply, which is uh, covered in heat shrink tubing, um, which I'll have a look at in a moment. But just on the underside of the board, we've got some other components, which um, which also got quite hot. Um, we've got a small um, we've got a small bridge rectifier, and uh, we've got a small power IC as well. But all of this is very low quality, and the soldering is uh, is also very low quality. Um, but the irony of it is that this this um, this little board at the top, which covers the US the two USB ports, um, is actually has a series of LEDs on it, which light up, judging by the uh, amount of power which is flowing through it. So instead of spending money on producing a, a, a re reasonably good quality circuit for charging, they've just added on this gimmick to make it look nice. But Personally, I think they should have spent the extra money on designing this board a bit better. But I'm just going to try and take this apart and uh, have a look at the underside of the board. Okay, well on the other side of the board, as you can see, we've got a small IC down here. This is a small power controller IC. Um, I've tried to look the part number up on Google, but I can't find anything on it. Um, it's some sort of uh, Chinese copy of, of some sort of power regulation IC. Um, we've got a small opto isolator over here, um, a small bridge rectifier here, and um, a lot of small uh, chip resistors, a couple of small transistors, and uh, a capacitor over here. Um, but in all honesty, it's not really all that. It's, it, the, the quality of it is very low. Uh, as you can see, these large blobs of solder everywhere. Um, the solder joints themselves are not of the highest quality. And uh, even this switch, which was placed over the main supply, had a massive um, blob of solder holding it in place, which was very loose when I removed it. Um, and again, on the top, it's uh, the distance between this um, high voltage transformer and um, the uh, outer casing of the USB ports is, is in my opinion far too close um, there's definitely not enough clearance between that um, but it's uh, it maybe it can it may comply to some EU standards but I don't think that it, it would it would comply to all of them despite having all of the safety markings on the outer casing okay well I removed the um, transformer from the board and um, 
Although the transformer wasn't of the worst quality possible, um, I don't think it was the fault of the transformer manufacturer as such, but the designer of the PCB, because this transformer is way too small um, for a circuit like this, and also the fact that it was so close to all of the other components um, presents a possible fire risk. Um, I also took apart, took the other side off, and um, yeah, it's, it's just a really, really poor quality attempt at making a charger, right down to the fact, as I said earlier, that the mains connectors were just held in place with pressure um, from the out, uh, outside housing. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a really low quality charger and I really would avoid, I'd recommend anyone to avoid these um, like anything because, in my opinion, they're quite dangerous. Well, thanks for watching the video and hopefully I'll have some more videos up soon.